Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is Susie from Thread Quarters. Thanks for joining me again today. So, I am doing a bit of a fun one for you today. Um, I've been going through a little bit of a um, style rut, I suppose, where um, I'm just not sure what styles suit me nowadays. My body shape has changed, but I'm still wearing the same clothes, and I just know that there's stuff out there that suits me better. But when you're sewing, you don't want to spend all that time and money on potentially ruining fabric, it, making up something that then ends up not suiting you. So the only way to get around this is to head to the shops. So that's exactly what I did. And I took you guys along for the ride. So if you're interested in seeing my shopping for sewing inspiration trip, then keep watching. So first up we have a simple uh, boxy linen tee. I've seen so many of these cropping about lately but um, I've always thought the boxiness wouldn't really suit me. So this has a high-low hem, um, dropped shoulders, um, but with a set-in sleeve. A simple bias bound uh, neckline and no bust starts. Um, but I'm presently surprised with how it looks on me. So next on is a sleeveless shirt dress, which you can see here is uh, too big under the arm there. It has no bust start, so that would fix that problem, really. Mm. Uh, it's also too um, short-waisted on me. I need a good inch longer there. It's a problem I always have with ready-to-wear dresses, actually. Uh, it does have pockets, which is great. And I really like the length of this dress. But uh, apart from that, I'm not really feeling it. Moving on to a sear sucker button up dress. Really like the length of that. Oh, it's too tight on the, on the bust, you can see there. Um, and I really, really hate the length of those sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's too high in the waist for me. Needs to be down a good bit. Love the length, really love that detail in the hem. That's so nice. It has pockets. And this is um, how I feel in this dress. <laughs> yeah. I am a big fan of this dress, especially um, the fabric, which is a beautiful striped linen. Really love the size of the stripe. The um, sleeves are a bit of a better length on me, um, certainly than the other dresses, but I um, would probably like a little bit more length to them. Really like that v-neck, I think it's very flattering on me. The waist is better, hits me closer to my natural waist, which is great. Lovely patch pockets on this. Um, and I really love the flared skirt, especially the effect it has on um, the stripes there. And I love the length of this dress, so lots of good things. And now on to warehouse. So I tried on another boxy top in here because I really love that embroidered detail. It has a bust start this time. Uh, has the ruffle details on the sleeves. Uh, but I'm not really convinced. Here you can see me sort of pulling it in at the back a bit. 
um, I think maybe it's a bit too big for me and I should have tried it on in a smaller size to be honest. It's okay. Next up is this cute little v-neck cami with the buttons at the front. Here I'm pointing to the pattern which I am pretty sure is upside down and that really really annoyed me. <laughs> Um, but it has uh, nice bust arts, which is always good in a cami, and yeah, I like this one. Another long dress with dolman sleeves and a hemband which plays up um, the stripe direction. Um, I don't think I suit such a high neckline. And here it is without the belt, but really I think it does need the belt to give it a bit of definition to it. Uh, the sleeves are a much better length on me, so I really, really like the length of that sleeve. I actually really like the shape of the sleeve in general, so it's something I quite like to copy. That's why I'm standing like that. <laughs> it's got a bust start as well, which is sometimes uh, unusual with this type of sleeve. So that's nice detail as well. Overall, average. Next up is an A-line striped summer dress with a button-up skirt and large patch pockets. It's ever so slightly uh, too big for me under the arms again. Uh, but I really love that chevron effect of the stripes. That's lovely, really, really nice. Another high neckline, which again, not such a fan of. I really like that waistband, I think that's flattering on me. And I love the A-line shape of this skirt. I also think that's very flattering. Not sure about the side on view, always. Um, but check out that straight matching, well done warehouse. I love the pocket, so lots of things to take from this dress. Just a quick shot of this trench coat which has been made in a lovely drapey fabric. I'd really love to have something like this in my wardrobe. Coffee over, now on to next. I thought I would try on this drop shoulder linen shirt. Again, it's something I've admired recently, um, but I haven't been sure whether it suited me or not. I don't really like the lack of sleeves, but I do like it from the front. It's quite nice. These little wrapped, ruffly uh, dresses are everywhere at the moment, and it's something I've really liked, but I haven't thought would suit me. But <laughs> you can see I was surprised. I loved it, as you can tell from that little shimmy. This particular dress is a little bit too tight on me. I should have gone up a size. Um, but I really love the little detail here of the little hidden button to secure it. So here's a little close up. Uh, you can see on this side, there is a little button right on the ruffle. That's the left side if you're wearing it. And then on the other side, the right side, there's the buttonhole. And it's on the actual, sort of the seam of the ruffle. And it's, so the ruffle hides it, which is just brilliant. So back to the dress. It has uh, the ruffles all the way around the hem and around the neck which is nice, slightly longer in the back. It's quite short, but I did think it was, was nice. Again, it's a V-neck, which is flattering on me, I think. Um, I honestly love this dress. I just felt really great in it, and I probably would have bought it if I wasn't on it ready to wear fast. Yeah, I loved it. And on to another stripy linen button-up summer dress. <laughs> There's a lot of them in the shops at the moment. Lovely patch pockets again in this one, really love that. 
and the ruffle of the shoulder detail for this, which I didn't think I would suit or really be into, but I liked it. A little too tight there, you can see it's pulling slightly. Look at that, how atrocious is that? It doesn't line up. That would annoy me so much if that was handmade. Yeah. Um, just showing you the back there. It doesn't line up with my bra strap. You can see that as well. Really, uh, this is me trying to show you what it would be like without the ruffle, but I love the shape. Paneled skirt. Yeah, really nice. And our final shot today is Zara. So in Zara, I tried on this green long line shirt, which I thought was very similar to the closet case patterns Cali. Um, I love that her curved hem detail, really, really nice. Slight difference with um, this shirt is that it has a dropped shoulder, ever so slightly, very, very slightly, and a set in sleeve instead. Next up is a bright red uh, top with crazy sleeves. <laughs> I was sort of thinking, mm, these sleeves are a bit OTT on the hanger. Um, but then when I put it on, I was really feeling it. I, I really was enjoying wearing them. <laughs> you can see they're sort of pleated with pleats on top of them. Very strange. <laughs> Hard to explain. I don't even think I could mimic it. It is a pure red, not the pinkiness that you see here, uh, which reminded me how much I really do suit a bright red. Um, and there's bus starts as well. So there's a few things here that I really liked about it. Now for something I thought uh, would be a huge no-no for me, paper bag waisted trousers. These are actually a size large and they are too big for me, you can see, uh, but I didn't have time to go and get a medium. But at least I can see what the style is like on me. And I am so surprised. I really, really loved these and thought they looked great on me. Um, they've got the pockets there, wide legs, um, cropped length. Um, the, the paper bag is pleated, which I think is what I really liked about it. Kept, made me feel really nipped in. Um, it's a cotton sateen with a bit of stretch to it as well. And man, I love the pattern as well. On, these, on this fabric, it was beautiful. And now we move on to trousers that were too small for me. <laughs> but I really love this little ruffle detail on the pocket. It's so cute. I, and I loved the gingham fabric. Just, I want to recreate these exact trousers, but um, if they would fit me, that would be a lot better. <laughs> um, again, it's a cotton sateen, which gives it a nice bit of stretch, which is important. Yeah, you can see it's pretty tight around the bum. But yeah, it's just a classic trouser, which is something I don't have in my wardrobe. It's not something I ever really thought would suit me. But actually, yeah, I, I really, I really like them. Here I'm, you can see me seeing what it's like um, with the t-shirt untucked and I like that as well. It's pretty good. And another pair of classic trousers. These ones were too big. I mean, I couldn't get anything to fit me in Zara. It was ridiculous. Um, but I liked the pattern, you know, and I just thought it was interesting rather than just a plain, you know, trouser. Having that big bold pattern I thought was really nice. These are too low in the hip. Um, yeah, I would like them a bit higher rise. Um, but yeah, they were too big for me as well, so. So that was it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy in the um, dressing room with me, trying on the different styles. I really did try and push my um, comfort zone in terms of things that I like to wear, um, things that I always go to and, and things that I always thought didn't suit me and to be honest I really had my eyes opened so it was a real really really beneficial um, exercise for me. So um, let's summarize and see what um, I learned. I've written notes so that's what I'm going to be reading here. So I'm going to move over to the side, put the notes up here for you as well. Different styles that suit me I have learnt are a boxy top, um, 
V-necks actually seem to be the most flattering neckline for me, so I was really pleased about that. Um, I also really love the A-line skirts. Um, now I know I am slightly um, pear-shaped, so that is a classic um, example, but I just always veered away from skirts, I just felt uncomfortable in them, but I really enjoyed wearing them. Um, so I think it's something that I'd like to branch into. And again, I also like the T-length um, of a lot of those dresses, which is something, again, that I always thought, mm, it's a bit sort of dowdy, but no, I felt very elegant in them, so that, that was great. Um, I like the longer length of sleeves, but that was no, that wasn't um, something I learned really, to be honest, that just, um, confirm something I already knew. I don't like the short ones. I do like to cover up the tops of my arms. Um, I mean, maybe I should be doing some weight training and making them less bingo wingy, but truth of the matter is I'm not. So for now, I'm covering them up. Um, and wow, I was so in love with that black and white wrap dress from Next. Like, totally in love with that and I want to make one of those straight away because I, I nearly bought that. I think I said that in the notes. I nearly bought that. Um, if I hadn't been on a ready to wear band, that would have been coming home with me, I think, in the larger size. That size was a bit too small. Um, but yeah, it was super flattering and I was so shocked. I just picked it up because I'd been seeing them everywhere um, and I really thought they were so cute on everyone else. And I was like, there's no way this is gonna look nice on me. So shocked, delighted. But yeah, a big surprise. Um, and also another surprise was the off the shoulder dress. I also thought that was really quite flattering as well. So that's something that I want to maybe look into a bit more. And the big shock for me, apart from the wrap dress, was that paper bag waisted trouser or crop trouser that I tried on in Zara. Oh, I fell in love with it. Again, it was too big. I needed a smaller size. Um, or perhaps the smaller size would have been too tight. So, you know, this is when sewing really comes into its own, doesn't it? Because you can tailor make something to your measurements. And that's one of the things I love about sewing. Tangent there. But yeah, I always veered away from paper bag waist um, because I don't particularly like my stomach area. And um, I just felt that the paper bag waist would draw attention to it but the fact that they were pleated rather than like a gathered paper bag waist which definitely wouldn't look nice but the the um the pleats almost held me in actually and i just felt so comfortable in it and chic really super chic i don't really feel chic um very often in my life and it's something i would quite like to um add to my <laughs> to my life little bit of chic. Um, so that's something I really uh, would like to uh, uh, copy and make my own. And again, some of the details that, that were in the um, clothes that I'd like to again maybe replicate in some of my sewing going forward um, is playing with the stripes. I really love those dresses that had the stripes sort of coming into the V or the little chevron effect um, or else having the pockets have the stripes going a different way. I loved all that so and I just love stripes so that was a winner. Again, talking about the pockets, the large patch pockets they were great and on loads of things so I'm not really one for trends but it is it's a trend this season at the moment as well all the buttons all the button up fronts the little cami that had the buttons up uh, the front I really love that you could easily do that with the Ogden um, and the dresses as well that had the buttons yeah super nice super super nice the only problem is I don't like buttonholes but that's my sewing machine I think rather than anything else Oh, and the hidden button on the wrap dress, wasn't that just so clever? Such a clever little detail of how to keep keep it, rather than a little snap or something, that little button and buttonhole. Mm, that was a clever idea, definitely gonna try and copy that. Um, and how cute were the ruffles on the pockets of those gingham trousers? Oh, it, this is um, a request, please, if anyone knows of any uh, stretchy gingham that I could make those uh, trousers, basically copy those Zara trousers. <laughs> I've tried to look at, obviously I want it UK based. If you know of any, please let me know because I want to copy that ASAP. 
Right, on to uh, possible patterns that I will m maybe make up in the not near future because I have a really long sewing list, but you know, I like planning. This is part of the planning. Um, so yes, when I came home from my shopping trip, I couldn't get those paper bag wasted trousers out of my mind. And um, I went online straight away to try and see if I could find a pattern that would match it, thinking there's no way I'm gonna get anything close enough that all the paper bag wastes are going to be gathered and I don't want gathers. It has to be pleated. And ideally I want them to be um, with the wider leg um, I thought that was very flattering on me as well and I thought there's no way I'm gonna find it. I found it guys. I found the exact pattern. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. I know this is kind of old news. Everyone was making this um, late last year I think but um, I just I just you know thought oh that's nice but brushed past it because I thought paper bag waste. No way. Not me. So yeah, I'm going to be making these. Yes, that was the other thing I liked were the um, bit of the pleats um, on the waist as well, like below the waistline and I had to have pockets. So this is McCall 7726 and um, I'll put up a proper picture here so you can see it and it's just perfect. It basically view D but then cropped would be the Zara trousers 100%. It's just, I'm actually so excited about this. I cannot wait to make this. And then when I started searching for people that had made this pattern, um, view B with the tapered legs, which I did not think suited me, would suit me, looks so good on so many people. Um, people that have a similar shape to me that I'm really tempted to do that as well. So watch this space. I am making some of these trousers for sure. So yeah, really excited about that. And I just, do you know when you just have an idea in your mind and you think, how am I going to rec recreate that? And then you find the perfect pattern. No, you don't know that? No, because it hardly ever happens. I certainly hardly, I, this is probably the first time it's happened to me. So I'm super excited about that. <laughs> so, um, and then we have the wrap dress, which was my other favorite for the day. And again, I wanted the ruffle all the way along. Um, I wanted to be shortish and but that was the main thing so I found pretty close match pretty close match this one here simplicity 8608 I'll put a proper picture up here for you and it would be view a but maybe not I do love the sleeves on view a um, but I think I will do well probably none of those sleeves I will probably take the sleeve from view, view B but make them n narrower and this length. Pretty much so they look like the next um, uh, dress, the dress from next. The only concern I have about this pattern is that it's an elasticated waist and the dress from next was not. I think there was maybe a dart at the waist um, but it was smooth. And that might have been one of the things I liked about it. I really am not a fan of having elastic at my waist. I don't like the feel of it. Um, like thin elastic at my waist. I'm going to put a <laughs> detail in there. Thin elastic at my waist. Um, yeah. I, and I also don't think it's very flattering on me. Having the gathers there. Not the, oh, You see, I, very, I do contradict myself. But... Um, so I don't know, I don't know about this. I think I will make it up and see how it goes. And maybe even see if I can adapt it so it doesn't have a gather, gathers there. I don't know, we'll see. I need to look into the pattern more, but it's pretty close. I love the ruffles all the way around the neck and along the skirt. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to do that. And I have some fabric ready for that already. So that, that will be coming up soon-ish. And then I really loved the um, navy trench coat that I tried on in the really floaty fabric. I, did, I only had a really quick shot of that. Um, I just sort of whipped it on. I'd already left the changing room and then went back and tried it on quickly. And I really liked, it was again, really chic. And um, I loved it in that light fabric rather than 
you know, a more substantial coat. Um, and I had picked this pattern up before I tried that coat on. That's maybe why I tried that coat on actually, because of this pattern that I picked up recently um, that I would like to make in a lightweight fabric. So it is this one, which might be quite interesting for you to see, 8472, a simplicity one. Now it is a plus size simplicity, but I checked and the smallest size corresponds with my measurements so it's okay which is great because I love view B I just love that collar shoulder detail I don't even know what you would call it I just think it's so lovely just beautiful really really cute it's sort of a nod to a ruffle but not a full-on ruffle um, and I think in a real drapey fabric that with a bit of weight, fabric that has a bit of weight um, but is drapey, would look so nice. So I'm excited to try and do that as well. When am I going to make all these things? Then as for the other things I tried on, um, I haven't got any actual physical patterns for them but I have a few ideas in mind. So that linen boxy top that I tried on, um, I want to recreate that. I have some really nice sort of rust red um, remnant in my uh, stash that I want to use soon. And I don't know, the loo box top maybe is one, or does it really need a pattern? I mean, it is pretty basic, you know? It's the kind of thing you think you could just sort of wing, wing it. I don't know. If you have any suggestions for um, a box top that you have made and you think I have my eye on the Nina Lee, is it Q dress? I can't re remember, but that's it there. Um, has the off the shoulder detail that was similar to that dress I tried on, not exactly the same because it had the ruffle all the way to the forward front, but it has the strap detail that covers your bra strap, so that's great. Um, and it has the buttons down the front and it's an A-line skirt, so I mean it's pretty much spot on, except it's not panels. Does that matter? I'm not sure. Um, and then I also found um, this dress by uh, Lisa Comfort, or so over it, from Lisa Comfort's um, second magazine edition. And it has the panel skirts, but the wrong bodice. Not necessarily the wrong bodice, because it's actually a very lovely bodice. Um, but not the bodice that has the sh off the shoulder strap. So I'm wondering about merging the two and if I can get the bust starts, not the bust starts, the waist starts of the Nina Lee dress to line up with the panels on the Lisa Comfort dress um, because otherwise it would look weird. Um, so that's something I'm toying with, or do I just not need to do that and the, the Nina Lee one with the A-line is fine? Or if you guys have any other suggestions for a dress that sort of suits all those little criteria that I've picked up on this trip, then please, please let me know. I would love to, love to try sewing it up. Right, that's it. Gosh, that turned into a bit of a, a waffly one there at the end. Um, a couple of wee things before I go. Uh, one, I didn't make this top. Uh, this is an old one from Oasis, but I'm wearing it with something that you can't see that I have made. So I'll stand up really quickly and show you. You probably won't be able to see much, but, um, and they're a bit wrinkled because I've been sitting down. These are um, the Eleanor uh, pull-on jeans by Jaylee Patterns, and I made it for uh, my latest Sewers Faction blog, which is live now. Um, so I put a link down below if you want to read all about the jeans but um, the spoiler is that I love them and I'm going to be making so many more. I think 2018 is going to be the year of the trousers for me. I really, I know that I'm missing them in my handmade wardrobe and now that I've found this pattern which is so easy to make and um, fits me so well and it's so comfortable. Um, that I'm going to be making a lot of them. So there's that. 
And I just wanted to say really quickly, I'm so sorry for the lack of vlogs uh, recently, especially since I announced my new name and it sounded like there was going to be a whole plethora of exciting uh, vlogs and things coming up. Um, and then I went quiet. I just had so much on this month that I couldn't do everything. And this video actually has a lot more editing in it than I thought it would, all that voiceover. I had to write a whole script. <laughs> and yeah, it took, it took a, a bit of time. So um, that's why I wasn't able to get this video up as quickly as I wanted to. So I'm really sorry about that. And another thing I wanted to share with you is something that was really exciting that happened uh, this month. Um, I'm <laughs> it's only a minor thing for some people, but it's pretty exciting for me. This little magazine came out this month, Love Sewing. And uh, if you turn to page 48, oh, who's that? <laughs> yeah, I got my picture in a sewing magazine. So um, if you watch the last um, Sewing Bee, um, Angeline Murphy was one of the contestants and she is from Northern Ireland. And uh, she has written a little article about the Northern Ireland sewing scene. And the editor contacted me last month and asked for a photograph from me and if, you know, it would it be okay for me to be in the magazine. I was like, yeah, of course. So um, there I am. It's just a tiny little bit about me, Susanna of Thread Quarters, will wow you with her fresh fun makes and pattern hacks. Which is really, really so lovely that they said that. And then the little caption for the photo picture is Susanna's vlog is full of inspiration. So just so, so pleased. And then um, if you don't know Lynn, she's on, she has a blog and she's on Instagram as Aussie Blackbeard. So I'll put the link down below for her um, because she is lovely and um, she makes lots of beautiful things so do do go check her out and follow her as well so yeah oh my goodness I was just so over the moon like it totally made my day I was really really excited about that I'm gonna have to like frame that or something put it up on the wall <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys and I will be back again very soon with another video bye